huh? <laughs> Threaten my patoos. Daddy, <laughs> 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 Good. You're really doing You good. are too. Uh, You're looking great. All right. I'm everywhere. I know. You got the mustache. <laughs> Look at the mustache. It's right. hotter. How hot is it? It's hotter than Kelsey's. <laughs> Kelsey's what? Nuts. <laughs> Bring the freaking walkers. Even for a mosquito. So it's hotter than Kelsey's nuts. <laughs> And we're live, and it's hot, and it's the morning, and it's already hot. And I had to sit out here because it's too beautiful, and the birds are chirping, and it's hot. What is good? Welcome to DLD, baby. We're out here, literally outside. It's it's amazing. When I get back to my studio, I am doing my back to the review subs. What? I'm going to bring back reviewing subs. I already got the winner. Probably going to load another competition up. So if you didn't win this time, you can enter again. Um... But yeah, I'm looking forward to reviewing maybe, I don't even know what I'm going to do, you know me, no structure, go with the flow, try to do maybe one a week at least where I review your dunks and see how that goes, I know you guys want to see that, but today I wanted to talk about um, uh, the Your World Within Live 2019 event, it was awesome, it was hosted by Eddie Panero, he's got an amazing YouTube channel, I definitely think you should check it out if you like me, with my motivational type stuff, he is next level, he combines music, with almost like spoken word poetry in some of his videos to make insanely inspirational, motivating videos. And I'll definitely link his channel below, but definitely check that out. And he had, he did a presentation as well. And he had these um, few rules that I really liked. So this was like one thing, just a quick thing you could take away from this podcast already. We're just getting right into it. I'm hot. I got to get out of here. Um, and he said this, this is how you create your own world within. And it is, number one, embrace discomfort. Two, commit. Three, be unique. Four, take responsibility. And five, believe in yourself. And I love when <clears throat> there's steps like that to remember and kind of get your day going and also just keep learning about yourself. And I agree with every one of those things. I'm, I've, I'm sure I've mentioned every single one of those things a lot. Maybe not as much as the commit one because I'm all over the place. It's so hard for me to decide, but I do go all in when I do things. I'm always all in. Dunk life, all in. I've not, I haven't, it's hard for me to even take a day off. So I do commit. I do show that I commit, but it's hard for me, for example, to commit to a certain amount of episodes to this. I don't know what I'm doing, but I commit daily. That's pretty committed. I don't know how long I'm going to do it, but I'm doing it every freaking day. Um, the embrace discomfort, you know I love that one. Always doing that. I'm doing my first open mic Wednesday, by the way. That's confirmed. So I'm super pumped about that. It's getting done finally. I'm going to film it. I'll post it here. Let's go. I'm hilarious. And then uh, be unique. I, I truly love this as well, which will lead into the other YouTuber I met there, um, which his name is Evan Carmichael. But this one says... Be unique. God, look at this sun, huh? Be unique is um, something that I am really passionate about because not only do I think being unique brings you the happiest life, um, but I also think it leads you down the path that helps the world the most. So I think everybody has their own nature and nurture. And based on that, you were made for one single thing. Me, it's to make people enjoy more. I'm wearing my freaking enjoy shirt. That's perfect. Is it way too hot to wear black right now? Yes. Is it freaking the morning and it shouldn't be this freaking hot and I shouldn't have to close one eye to be able to fucking see straight? Yes. I love it though. I love the sun. Just maybe not during the middle of a podcast, but we're working, bro. I'm getting sweated. I'm going to be freaking so much energy after that. Slept decent. Woo. Moving. So be unique, I think is a really good one, obviously. And I love that. And that's kind of like one of my core things is being, helping people be themselves. Because when, before I started my YouTube channel, I was debating, should I go this route or the other route? And when I chose to follow what I love to do and be my more, the more I became myself, the happier and more fun I had. Hence this podcast. Take responsibility. Don't, anything you do, treat it as if it's your problem. Even if someone slaps you in the face, be like, what did I do? Even if they came out of nowhere, you don't even know them. They, they, their hand was flailing and they whacked you in the face. Be like, ah, Take responsibility because if you, if you use it, if you think everything's external, you'll never make changes. But think of it internally. How can you be at peace? Don't let your peace ever be disturbed. Man, I'm killing this right now. Okay, and believe in yourself. You know me. 
visualize that stuff before you even do it. Just believe you can already do it. Changes your energy that you're in the present moment. So I'm already, I'm already famous. All right. I'm already doing it. And I don't say that because I, I, I want it that bad. I understand the, the mental side of it where you, you become famous because you don't get enough attention. I, I get plenty of attention. I had a great childhood. What I want is people to enjoy more. And this is the way I can do it. I love comedy. I love creating content and I just freaking love it. I would do it for no money, but also money is so cool. <laughs> All right. And then the other thing was Evan Carmichael. That was, um, that was the other guy I met at the YouTube event. He has 2 million on YouTube. Super nice guy. Incredible story. Incredible, um, clarity on what he's doing. That's what I admired about him the most was his clarity, um, with his one word. He has a whole book on it and finding your one word. If you're listening to this podcast, I'm going to try to find my one word. It might be enjoy, but his is believe. He wants every, he wants to inspire as many people he can to believe in themselves and more specifically entrepreneurs. I think his goal was to help 1 billion entrepreneurs and he's well on his way. So super cool to meet him. Check out his channel for all the different entrepreneurial type tips and motivation and, ha- and help with finding your one word. And I think that clarity in life is amazing. And I think it's when you have that clarity, it allows you to bring it all the way backwards to what you can do today. So clarity is such a huge thing that I'm constantly trying to work on. What do I want to do? Constantly thinking, what do I enjoy the most? What, what would make my life the best? And I think that clarity allows me to navigate decision making because it's really hard. There's so many ideas I have with this YouTube channel. What should I do? But if I have my clear goal of what I, what I want it to end up like, that helps me make those decisions. And that's that. And God damn it, I just murdered that. So I'm going to look up on this day in history. Is my computer melting because it's directly in the sun? Yes. Um, so on this day in history, if I can see anything and I'm going to get the hell out of here because this was already fire and I'm just going to like let the fire keep burning. You don't need to keep I, I, you set it ablaze and you let it run. September 9th, baby. By the way, I, I just realized my first open mic is going to be on September 11th. I'm not even going to attempt a joke right now because that is just great timing. And I'm sure a lot of people will make jokes about that. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I guess it can't get any worse than that. So only up from there. Let's go. 1,000. Year 1,000. Battle of Swalger. Baltic Sea, King Olaf, on board the Long Serpent, defeated in one of the greatest naval battles of the Viking Age. How is that real? How is that part of our lineage? King Olaf on the Long Serpent? This is real? This is humans? That's a movie. I can't believe that shit was real. Today in film, 1951, first broadcast of Love of Life, whatever that is. 1956, Elvis Presley appeals on the, appears on the Ed Sullivan Show for the first time. That's also in the Today in Music. Get your fucking facts straight. You don't need it twice. Today in sport, 1972, Soviet Union beats the United States. 51, the 50, in the most controversial game in international basketball history. Isn't that the one where it's like super corrupt? Anyway, sports are cool. And now, before I melt to death, look at this. Can you see my head? I'm sweating. Whoa, it's hotter than hell. It's hotter than Kelsey's nuts. <laughs> That's Nana yesterday. Okay, um... On my answers with mom, I had so much fun with mom yesterday. Let's see if anybody left some good comments. The dunk lifer of the day. I like this one by MGN on. It's a nice Sunday. Medial meniscus feeling better. Jammed toe isn't hurting. Jammed finger can move. Thank God. I'm happy to hear that. Um, RJA, great to see a new video this time with the fam. Let's go. Okay, so review. Dunk reviews coming soon. Let me know what you want to see. Enter the competition if it's below. If not, it's coming out soon, but stay tuned for that. I'll be posting it on my YouTube and my Instagram and things like that. But shout out to the winner of the last one. I'll be reviewing your video as soon as I get back to my studio, and I look forward to doing more of that. And, uh, yeah, keep growing, keep learning. I'm doing this. I can't wait to do my stand-up, and that's it. It's way too hot for this. Have a good, friggin' magnificent Monday that we make into the most, that we most love, and we make it into a magical, mind-melding mastery of mortal meat because we're human meat <laughs> toodaloo baby let's go